Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic Non-MTG. And from time to time I like to do uh, some just wacky stuff like this that is not Magic the Gathering related. It's just nonsense, so if you're into that, stick around. If you're not, see you later. I'm going to do it anyway. So, let's get cracking. Uh, I really want to start off with this 21 Jump Street uh, pack of cards. Uh, a lot of these from Tops, maybe. Um, it's a hot hit show. There he is, Johnny Depp, future Jack Sparrow himself. Uh, yeah, this would have been super cool back then. Um, I've opened Garbage Pail Kids before, and this seems similar. And I learned my lesson to not eat the gum. Make sure... <laughs> uh, make sure not to eat the gum. It's like eating a tooth. I don't recommend it, so I'm just going to throw this aside. Let's see, I did watch some uh, 21 Jump Street back when in the 80s. I was a little young for that time period. So I don't remember these people's names. I know Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp and Richard Grieco. I think it's about, oh man, look at that. So they were too old to be in high school, but they had to act super cool, of course. So they had to dress the part, right? Bandanas and necklaces and chewing on toothpicks. I mean, what is cooler? Than all of that undercover right this right here tells you all about the show 1987 Stephen J Cannell production production so saw the stuff right there Jump Street's finest in uniform hey Johnny Depp has made a few movies which one is his favorite that's easy comments Depp platoon which even though a lot of my stuff was cut out of the film it's probably one of the best experiences of my life Incredible. Man, little did he know. What a fox. And I don't know her name. So uh, it's Judy, apparently. And uh, just like Garbage Pill Kids, apparently you can build a puzzle. And uh, I'm not going to do that. Just wanted to take a look. So that was Jump Street. And then we got Rad Dudes trading cards. And I uh, accept no responsibility for what we're going to find in any of these. Um, they could contain stuff that's inappropriate, so look out. Alright. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, an attempt to capitalize on the gross out cards of the day. The, the Garbage Pail Kids, Rad Dudes, does similar stuff. Dodgeball Doug. And again, with the puzzle on the back. Very, um, I'm seeing a very clear trend here. Oh, no, yeah, see, here we go. Checking out the Babes Brett. That's this guy's name. He's a super perv. Again with the puzzle. Poser Pete. He is a poser because he doesn't know how to skate. I would be a poser as well. I don't know how to skate. Uh, yeah, Peek and Tom and Jimmy. Another trend I'm seeing here. Um, the rad dudes for doing that though, right? Uh, hand Plant Hank. He's so rad. He can do his skateboard trick correctly. Uh, wow, Hank, you're the coolest skateboarder. Yep. All right, you can read all that if you want. Messy Marty. More great uh, dialogue on the back. Spike and Spencer. These are pretty bad, I gotta say. Dude, this beach is awesome. Play me, dude, bro. Uh-uh. Funky Fred. He has a song. I will not sing it for you. And Half Pipe Pat. And teasing Toby. So these are just skateboard dude version of Garfield Kids. Sure, why not? All right, next up we got Nasty Tricks. Fool your friends. Six cards, eight stickers, and one stick of bubble gum. Again with the bubble gum. There are 130 different double screwy cards. School passes, credit cards, and gross and goofy stickers. Use them everywhere. Sure, why not? Let's see what we get. Uh, I'm sure these are going to be so legit that they're going to fool anybody. And gosh, this gum actually looks worse than any of the other gum I found. Oh, well, hey, it's actually not uh, fossilized. It's got a little bit of consistency to it. Again, I'm not going to eat it. I already learned my lesson. Um, how do these go? So we got some stickers. Okay, interesting. So there's. A gross beetle and an eye and some various lips with teeth. Okay. 
Sure. And a worm and a moth and ugh, is that a wart? It is a wart. It's labeled so you don't think it's a nipple. That's probably smart. And uh, some eye, some glasses. Okay, look. Get out of jail. You're gonna need that someday. Trust me. Uh, and then you've been appointed to be special assistant to the principal, just like uh, assistant to the regional manager. And these are super legit. I'm telling you, anyone's gonna accept these. Early excuse from the doctor or the nurse or the principal. And uh, don't let them get your goat. Gosh, wow, these were definitely not high end. Um, there's your ID, it looks just like you. National Spelling Society, right, okay. Very funny. Klutz training. I actually uh, completed this. I'm a total klutz. Intergalactic exchange student. Homework exemption and an eye test, which um, gets a little smaller. A Venus Beauty Academy graduate. Looking good. And a skateboard expert. First class. Yeah, these are definitely from the 80s or 90s. Yep. Hey, Alf. Remember Alf? This actually made it to a second series. Uh, there's a Boolia baseball card inside, so that's good. I'm excited about that. Um, again with the gum. Getting rid of the gum. Elf. Here's the Boolia baseball card, which I assume Boolia baseball is similar to baseball, but only from the alien planet that Elf is from. Capstan Silver Clackers, Seymour the Stick Faz, the right screecher. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> he's got stats too. Um, I watched ALF when I was a kid. I don't remember all the ins and outs. I guess this must have been a joke from the show. We're going to go with that. There's ALF himself, and he's a sticker. And again, more puzzles. It's all about the puzzles on the back here. Who says you're not supposed to eat the bag after you dunk it? I No one's literally said that, I guess, so that makes sense. And there's some Milmac history and facts. <laughs> Very nice. Um, Alright, there's Willy, and I forget the kid's name. Karate is all mind over matter. Sure, if you don't mind the pain, it won't matter. Ah, I kill me, right? Yep, I know, Alf. Vote for me. And I only dress like this so I can carry a briefcase. Sure. There's Al for you. Next up, Back to the Future 2. I remember seeing this in the theater with my cousin back in 1988 or something, whatever it was. Nine movie cards. They could definitely stop with the gum at this point. I don't know if they even put out trading cards like this anymore that are not actual collectibles. Uh, more puzzles. There we go. There's Biff and trying to get the, the almanac, right? That was the whole thing with that movie. When time trippers collide, sure. There's a, yep, the big scene with the hover hoverboard. Still no hoverboards today as far as I know. Doc Brown's new plan, he tells you all about that. What could be wrong? Great Scott, anything. Michael J. Fox is Marty McFly. Right? There you go. There's Marty. And this one is number 2 of 11. Oh, it's a sticker. It says peel it right there. Sure. The family squabble. Check this place out. It's radical. That's the future, right? 2015 which is now the past. And I don't remember this from the movie. What is that all about? This is the Scat Hovercraft, manufactured by Scat Hovercraft. It's an electric start prop machine capable of vertical heights of 6 to 8 feet and forward thrust up to 45 miles per hour on any surface. Did they put that like under the DeLorean to make it float or something? I don't know, I've never heard of that. Alright, Back to the Future 2. Moving on to the Adams Family. If you're still watching this, you must really like hearing me drone on about this nonsense. So I appreciate that. Uh, the Adams Family movie with Raul Julia. 
and Angelica Houston and Christina Ricci and Dan Hedaya, right? Do I know my actors? I think I do. I actually never seen this movie, but I know all the actors. Here we go. Who's that knocking? Yeah, funny thing about these like movie cards, often often they're just you know, a picture of a a frame of the movie and then it's just information about that person, you know what I mean? There's nothing to much more you can do with something like this, right? So, yep, there's Christina Ricci. Oh yeah, and Chris Floyd, who was in the last pack, right? Hey, like a nice little tie in there. Uncle Fester, trademarks, triumph. <laughs> Seems like bad grammar, a little bad like printing there. The house that Adams built kind of looks like the Psycho House. I'll have to look that up and see if maybe I'm onto something there. They play golf off of the balcony apparently. And again with the puzzles. And here's Cousin It and it's a sticker again. So a lot of these must have been from like kind of the same company. There's a lot of the same format here. Here we go, the Andy Griffith, Griff, Griffith Show. The all new third series. I'm sure everyone was clamoring for these. Did, did people just buy these back in the day? I don't remember. Other than Garbage Pill Kids for like non-sports cards. I remember people just having Andy Griffith Show cards and Back to the Future 2 cards, you know. I'm sure they were, obviously they were around, but who bought these? Anyway, here we go. There's good old Barney Fife, the star of the show. Some lady, I don't know, is that Opie's mom? Not sure. Smoked out. Now we're talking. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yep, some more dialogue from the show. There you go. The goob. Some of these are in color and some of them in black and white. That's pretty special. Howard makes his point. Howard Hughes? I don't think so. Uh, Howard quote chart. Nope, I don't think so. Danny meets Andy. There's good old Ron, there's Opie himself, having a birthday. Many happy returns, Ron. Alright, last up here. Uh, it's been a long road to get here. Ten hot photo cards of superstars of music. With facts about your favorite rock, pop, and rap stars. From, when is this, like 1990 something? 1991 Pro Set. So Pro Set made football cards, right? So they're like, hey, we're going to make some music cards. Two people are going to buy those, right? And there's the Legends. The Who. Sure, they're a legend. Jet Boy. <laughs> Not so much a legend. They very much look like manufactured to look like um, Guns N' Roses. You got two guys that look like Axel right there. I mean, that's just not on accident, right? Jet Boy. They threw a kicks and cheap trick and striper. All right. Um, a Voivod. Hmm. I don't think they're still around. Dennis Piggy Diamore is on guitar. They seem like they must be like Canadian. Those are like French names, right? Debbie Gibson. All right, I remember Debbie Gibson from way back in the day. She's gifted with perfect pitch. Of course she is. The London Choir Boys, spelled Q with a Q. That's an interesting choice as well. Um, they did that. Hey, your favorite rap star, LL Cool J. He's going back to Cali. Bigger and Deffer, 1987. Sure, good old LL. The Hoodoo Gurus. I've never heard of these guys. Cool hat. Cool glasses. That's all you need to be in a band, I think, at that time. The Goo Goo Dolls. Yes, yes. Yeah. We all know the Goo Goo Dolls. And Billy Idol, sure. Super big back in that time. Uh, historic concerts from, can you want to read that? The Jimi Hendrix Experience. So uh, yeah, I could read it. Cool, uh, uh, rock poster there. That's, that's decent. 
one of his most spectacular concerts. And then here's the, the rules for some contest. Free rock and roll trip to London. And 10 cents off your next purchase of Superstars Music t-shirts. Get you buying more. So that's it of my nonsense. All of this stuff is not worth a, a dime, of course. But I had fun opening it. Um, all two of you that watched it, I appreciate it. Uh, check out my other videos for more. Thanks a lot.